This build on the new killer is insane. Watch what happens. I use Tinkerer to know which gen is about to pop and I go that way. Vanishing Box weakens any survivor that is working on a gen when it finishes. And Bitter Murmur gives us aura reading on any survivor that is within 60 meters of popping a generator. Oh my God! And just like that, the match has changed and all the windows is blocked. What are you going to do, man? You're going to die! I bet that Jeff is on the other side of the map just shitting himself. I don't know if this is the build I'm gonna go with. Now this build is gonna change a little bit throughout the video. The first two matches are gonna have water and abuse because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted, but I think the last match where I run Bitter Murmur with it is definitely what we're gonna go with from now on. Oh, I banged it off the backboard, baby. Can I see your supervisor? I mean, she do look like a Karen. Boom, baby. Oh. You a no respecter, eh? Damn, she got out of it that quick. The most effective way to use the power is to only use the power. What happened here is I used the M1 instead of hitting her with another jellyfish. And since I didn't, she was able to break out. If I would have hit her with a jellyfish, she would have got another six seconds added to her timer. And I might have been able to get it quicker now. Hi. Whenever you down someone, if there's someone near, at least try to get them weakened so that it's an easier chase later. Get infected, please. Yeah, she's gone. This is a pretty spoopy map for what we have. Their gin efficiency is really good. But my murdering efficiency is just as damn good. They had me down to three gens. Oh, okay, they had me down to two gens. Damn, that was close. <laughs> you glow purple. It don't work like that. You know hide and bush. Yay! Yeah, let's go. Yes. Oh my God, these guys are rushing hard, bro. All right, from here on out, I'm gonna go into full focus mode. I'm probably not gonna talk that much and I'm gonna be focusing just on getting people down as quick as possible. Let's do it. Access denied. Is this the one that just came off the hook and didn't nail? That's against the survivor handbook. It's got to be done. Hello. Haha! -ha! All right, two dead. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hi. What are your thoughts on the killer? S tier, A tier? I don't think they're S. I think they have enough counter to not be S. I'm Sable. You are amazing at this killer. Good luck and GGs. Hey, GGs, Seawall. Thank you for being kind. She ran back into it. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Where's she going? Is she going down? Or... She went down. I teleported and she said no. She said no, I will not be going down. She is also dead. Woo, that was a hard game. God damn. Burn the handbook down. Weren't you just streaming? I don't know, Airborne, was I? It's him again. No, okay. Where'd Brian go? He's got the infection. Or was that the one? Did we, have we? Oh my god, that actually almost did me. Going for shots like this is definitely not the most optimal way to play this killer, but it's the funnest way to play this killer. He's definitely going to break out of the weakness. Well, that ain't going to work. I'm thinking in a little bit of time, we'll get it. <laughs> ah, damn it, I didn't do it high enough. I think I scared that person. Oh God, now this one's wearing a blonde headpiece. They seemed a little terrified. Oh, it might be the same guy that we faced earlier, just shaped a different skin. 
The reason I broke chase for a second to put the jellyfish is that I'm trying to apply pressure to everyone on the map. That's the best way to play this killer. Sometimes just trying to brute force it in a chase doesn't work, but if someone's already weakened, it definitely helps. Look at me slugged. Yeah, I could got him from across the map. Oh, you should get him. Tinker was the main reason I was able to do that. That's what I was saying earlier about trying to apply pressure to everyone at once. I was in a chase with her, and I got him weakened for an easy down. Now we're getting a little bit of a little bit of pressure, Ronnie. Like it already feels like I'm already under pressure to start cranking gems. Same. Oh my god. Double pallet combo combo. I'm just doing like odd path. I think that I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, and then eventually they just catch up to me. I'm just trying to think of anything to like counter it. So here's a survivor tip on this map. These walls are thin. I will see your body if you hug too tight. <laughs> just like that, I'm dead on hooking four chains. <laughs> That's not gone well, has it? There we go. Yo, I think Gearhead is so good on this killer, dude. Let me explain how I mind game unsafe pallets like this. First thing I'm gonna do, try not to take a stun. If it's a good survivor, they're definitely gonna fake the pallet, so I'm gonna fake like I'm gonna backtrack, and then they're gonna body block. There's so many sables. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's exactly what we were saying, Rook. It's like uh, facing a, uh, a killer with like a grenade launcher. So we're kind of like figuring it out as a go compared to how it was in the PTB. It's like I have to like drop everything. I think they're definitely correct here. You do need to drop pallets, especially if they're unsafe, because it gives me more angles to hit you. Yep. You have to play the pallet, and then the second you think you can get distance, you gotta book it. Yeah. Book it. Yeah. You definitely need to hold W, and you need to look behind you the whole time you're doing it. Uh, I already got two messages from people asking, if, "Do you know how to counter this killer?" And I told them I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> I just said it seems like it's just pre-dropping and W-keying again. Yeah, all the green add on it too, hindered in green. Yeah, because I think every time you pop a gen, you get like... Yeah, you get that infected. full infected. Yeah. yeah. I think this is going to be the new meta add-ons. So here's a trick you can do in Monitor and Abuse and Chase. It makes your terror radius bigger in Chase. I broke Chase, stood behind the rock. She thought I left because my terror radius shrunk, and now she's dead. She was trying to buy a ticket to the movies. Speaking of movies, I want that Slimer popcorn bucket so damn bad. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick-ass boy. Brian is dead. No, Brian. I'm sorry. Oh, oh God. Both of these hits are definitely because of Tinkerer. She didn't know I was coming and was going for the unhook, and I scared the shit out of him. Oh, I didn't know Brian got Twitch shirts. Cool. I didn't mean to sandbag your chin. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's get them both affected. We can. Oh, we hug this person. I think it's the first time I've killed Brian. No, nope, everything's blocked. This build's working out extremely well. It's working out really, really well. It's a good build. It's a fun build. I like it. It's a 10 out of 10 build. the map let's go oh well too late no. now oh someone's here he knows where i'm at oh 
Very fun killer. Nah, I'd rather go against Wesker. Screw that. Oh yeah, Wesker is better to face. Before you say anything about skill issue, Brian is literally the third in the entire world for escapes on Survivor. And that's not including the time he put in when he did competitive DVD in custom games. I said this on the P2B, this is gonna be one of those killers that if the person's good with it, you're not gonna have a good time. Probably he just doesn't remember me. Cause he complimented me after. He was like, you were a good Ada. <laughs> I don't know where a fella could get a little drink around right? here, do you, bud? Damn. I didn't do it. We're gonna go back over here, scare the f out of this person. This is not a good map for this killer. I like, very chill build on. This is great. When I posted this clip, people literally said the survivors were bad. This game is insane. Jeff was on the call, though. Holy moly. All right, we need to find him. This is the bad thing, though. We ain't got no tracking. Are these guys, like, terrified of me now? A few moments later. Oh, good. It's Jeff. There we go. So we only have three hooks. We're gonna have to do some catch up. All right, she'll be able to easy to down now. Oh, did she just try to? Uh... God, bro. This killer is so hard to use on this map. Oh, uh, they're leaving early, too. Yeah, man. This map just sucks. We got a really cool down out of it, but we're going to lose. Now, the reason I didn't go after Jeff immediately is because I thought he might have had bottled time, but I'm an idiot because he just got caught off guard by Tinkerer. Also, we're about to lose this match, so I'm gonna go into super hyper focus mode. I mean, I know she's like right here. She has dead hard though, I'm waiting. All right, we got her out of the game, let's go. He's injured too, so that's not good for him. Does he have DS? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh, nice. Run, Jeff. Now nah, I'm trying to kill the hell out of that, Jeff. If this Kate went to the pallet, she would have got hit. She got zoned. Strong power. Uh, Jeff's working on another gen across the map now. Now we're in trouble. I think Jeff's dead. I hesitated because I thought maybe. Hey, Jeff. Is Jeff dead? Yes, Jeff is dead. All right. Yeah, this is the new killer. I'll probably have that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'll probably have that on. Uh... <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. She's going to have dead hard. I am the smartest man alive. Injured? All right, we're just gonna M1 her. Woo, let's go! Hey, thank you for watching the video. Bella and Brian's links are down below, along with mine, if you'd like to check me out on Twitch. And if you like highly edited, well-made DVD content, check out one of these other videos. Have a great day.